हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड मेजरमेंट इन वीडियो नंबर फोर वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड मेजरमेंट्स एंड इवन वी हैव डन फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच इज टू बी रिमेंबर व्हिच विल हेल्प यू इन द हायर क्लासेज इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द नोमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स and even we have done one important topic that is anomalous expansion i'm just going to explain this again because this is one of the most important topic anomalous exp expansion of water when the water is heated up when the water is heated up from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius the water first contracts and 4 degree onwards it expand on heating and when the water is cooled when the water is cooled till 4 degree celsius the water contracts and from 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius it starts expanding and therefore the density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius and that is 1000 kg per meter cube in si system and in uh, cgs system it is 1 gram per centimeter cube don't forget students in si system the density of water at 4 degree celsius is 1000 kg per meter cube and in cgs system it is 1 gram per centimeter cube now today let us starts with the next topic that is volume measuring devices so today's topic is volume measuring volume measuring devices students just uh, open your book at page number 22 so these are the two measuring uh, cylinder just see that it is calibrated with the scale from 0 to 100 ml and from 0 to 100 ml so measuring cylinders are available in the market in different capacities from uh, it is written 20 ml to 1000 ml and then measuring jugs so different capacity jugs are given they are used to measure a fixed volume of liquids total capacity of jug is marked on it here it is uh, 500 ml 200 ml and 100 ml and then the next is eureka can it is just like this one spout is there when the water is filled or some liquid is filled in it and when the liquid reaches at this the liquid will start overflowing through this spout so these are the three volume measuring device one is measuring cylinder another is measuring jugs and then zureka can now the next topic is finding the density of an irregular solids irregular solids means which do not have a permanent shape now the activity is given to find the density of an irregular solid using measuring cylinder students this activity even you can perform at home you just take one uh, measuring cylinder or one jug at home whatever are you having at home just fill it with water and note down the volume of uh, the water which is filled in that vessels and then you take any irregular body or stone you can take one stone just uh, tied it with thread 
and then put it in the jug which is filled with the water you will find that the level of the water will starts rising up now in this just see that the when the water is filled in it the reading is 70 ml and when this stone or irregular body is put in the measuring cylinder the level of the water is rises that is 80 means earlier its level was 70 and when this irregular body is put in it its level increases increases and the reading is 80 ml now from here you can say the volume b of the solids like this is the volume of the liquid plus irregular body or solid and that is 80 and this is the volume of the liquid only so volume of the in order to find the volume of the solids you just minus 70 from 80 and you will get the volume of this irregular body and that will be 10 and then you can find the density of the solid as we know that density is equal to mass upon volume so by performing this activity we can find the density of any irregular solid using the measuring cylinder now the next activity is given to find the density of an irregular solid using eureka can now come just uh, go through it just fill this eureka can with water up to this level then take one irregular body and just immerse in it you will find that the water will overflow through this port and the the water which flows from this port is collected in this measuring cylinder now you can note down the reading now volume of the water of uh, this flowing water will be equal to the volume of the solid once again now just see that when this uh, irregular body or you can take uh, it as a stone when this stone is immersed in the water the level of the water will reach it will increase now what will happen because this stone will occupy its space when it will occupy the space the water will get displaced and that displaced water will flow in this measuring cylinder now it is also calibrated with the scale you can note down the reading and the volume of this uh, displaced water will be equal to the volume of the this stone and uh, then you can find the density d is equal to mass upon volume okay then the next is measurement of density of a liquid like this we can find the density of a liquid with the help of measuring cylinder now the next topic is density bottle now what is density bottle is first of all the topic is density bottle you can take any bottle of non volume which can be which we can weight empty and then with the liquids the density of which is to be found once again a density bottle is a bottle of non volume which can be weight empty and then with the liquid density of which is to be found students first of all let 
I am just going to draw the density bottle. This is your glass stopper and this is the hole and this is your glass bottle of any capacity. Students, whenever you want to find the density of any liquid, the first thing which you have to do just uh, first of all just measure the weight of this empty density bottle with the common balance once again whenever you find you want to find the density of any liquids with the help of density bottle first thing which you have to do you have to measure the weight of this empty bottle let the mass of the empty density bottle i'm just going to write here only bottle and that is m1 now just fill it with water and let the mass of the empty bottle plus mass of water let that is M two. So from here we can find the mass of the water. So what will be the mass of the water? Mass of water will be equal to mass of empty bottle plus mass of water that is M two minus mass of the empty bottle that is m1 now take out the water take out the water from this density bottle and dry it then put the liquid in it whose density is supposed to be measured again you can take mass of empty bottle plus mass of the liquid which is supposed to be measures let that is m3 once once again students the first thing which we have to do first of all we have to measure the mass of the empty bottle with the help of common balance and let that is m1 then fill it with water then again measure the mass of this uh, density bottle along with water and let that is m2 then in third step just empty the bottle dry it and then fill it with liquids whose density is supposed to be measured now mass of empty bottle plus mass of liquid let that is m3 so what will be the mass of liquid mass of liquid will be mass of empty bottle plus mass of liquid that is m3 minus 
मास ऑफ द एम टी बॉटल सो वट इज द रिलेटिव डेंसिटी रिलेटिव डेंसिटी और रिलेटिव डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी ऑफ द सबस्टांस और लिक्विड वी हैव टेकन इन दिस केस लिक्विड्स डिवाइडेड बाय डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर एट फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस वंस अगेन रिलेटिव डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू डेंसिटी ऑफ द लिक्विड अपॉन डेंसिटी ऑफ द वाटर एट फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस और इन अदर वर्ड्स रिलेटिव डेंसिटी इज द रेशियो ऑफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ द सबस्टांस और लिक्विड्स टू द डेंसिटी ऑफ द वाटर एट फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस सो रिलेटिव डेंसिटी हैज नो यूनिट्स आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू राइट हियर इट हैज नो यूनिट सिंस इट इज इन रेशियो you see that this is density density it will get cancelled so it has no units now we can find the density of the liquids first of all the mass of the liquid mass of liquid divided by mass of equal volume of water equal volume of water that is mass of the mass of the liquid that is m3 minus m1 and the mass of the water that is m2 minus m1 you can write it here so m3 minus m1 divided by m2 minus m1 since mass of water since mass of water that is equal to volume of water that is equal to volume of water because because density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube therefore the mass of the water and the volume of the water is equal so the density of liquids so the density of liquid will be equal to mass of liquid mass of liquid divided by volume of liquid that is m3 minus m1 divided by m2 minus m1 gram per centimeter cube so like this we can find the density of a liquid using a density bottle so let us have a quick recapitulation first of all what is density bottle is you can take any bottle of known volume which we which we can weigh empty and then take the liquid who whose density is supposed to be measured so first of all what we will do we will take the density bottle we will weight it with the common balance 
and we will note down the mass of the empty bottle let that is m1 then it is filled with water then again measure the mass of the empty bottle plus mass of the water that is m2 then what will be the mass of the water that we can calculate by subtracting m2 minus m1 then just uh, empty the bottle dry it and then fill it with the liquid whose density is supposed to be measured then again weight weight it with the help of common balance note down the mass so let the mass is m3 the mass of the liquid what will be the mass of the liquid that is m3 minus m1 now we can find the relative density relative density is the ratio of the density of the liquid to the density of water at 4 degree celsius so relative density has no unit since it is in ratio so how we can find the relative density that will be equal to mass of liquid divided by mass of equal volume of water since the density of the water in cgs system is 1 gram per centimeter cube that is why the mass of the water is equal to volume of water so m3 minus m1 divided by m2 minus m1 so we can find the density of liquid that is the mass of the liquid divided by volume of the liquid and you will get this result so that's all for today thank you very much